way to greet people turning this video on. A lot of noise. Well, I gotta move to head a little bay here to save some time. There you are. <sighs> She's forgotten about me. If only she would come. Persistent, though. Trying to fill this up that with water earlier. That doesn't... That... Because I gotta pull it up. Bucket up with water from the bathtub. See, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the donkey into stock. Oh, I need scissors. I'm guessing this is what I have to do. is right there all the time. Things up here. That doesn't. Saw ass. scissors in the barber shop over here makes sense it's like the logical place to put them now, where are the scissors gosh that's why Here. The 
eventually I go back to that tower and do some bungee jumping. Something from uh, Metroid Fusion. reason. Uh, go back to the square. I do have to go here anyway. of entrapping in the donkey. Well, because if you don't do this, he'll kick you. That doesn't... just yet. I have the mustache. Back to Wendell Poons. reading ahead here a little bit.
crap they make you go through. You had this in your inventory at the beginning of the game. I can get the uh, parrot at the end of the world. Watching an anime, uh, raising children in another world, I believe it is. I watched a couple episodes, and it's your kind of typical. Oh, I accidentally killed the uh, the main character, and sent him and gets him to another world, and now he's having to find a couple of children who are favors of the wind god, or I mean, um, the water god. Where there it is. a necklace for many 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 years and it's never just fallen off like that unless it broke as a matter of fact I long after I uh, left the army I still wore my dog tag Notice the rabbit just now. Yeah, hello. Nice day for it. Yes, um, nice day f for what? For whatever you're planning to do. So, so you mean I'm destined to fail after all? You're here to collect my soul, thus ending the quest and demonstrating the futility of all human endeavor. No, I'm just having a break. Oh, sorry. I shall see you later on, but I won't tell you what's going to happen because I don't want to spoil your day. Um, look, you're, you're a busy, a uh, busy, um, man. There's no need to disrupt your schedules on my account. Oh, I enjoy it. See you at the city square, then. Oops, sorry, it slipped out. Forget I said it. Great Atui is referred to as an it as opposed to a he or a she simply because its sex is undetermined. Uh, yes, um, we really, really needed to have known that, didn't we? Although in the first book, uh, or second book, uh, there are a little, a bunch of, uh, great attunes going to this great big red star and, and collects up a bunch of little baby attunes. What's this? Oh! I was saying early about losing a necklace. <laughs> I, I wore my dog gags for quite a number of years after leaving the army. I finally stopped. And one day I was uh, using the bathroom at a store and didn't realize the chain had broke while I was just sitting there. Still working on the birthmark thing. Just about done. I need to go back here to the inn. All that for him to tell me to go talk to the barber. Pa! 
Polly. Polly, you come back to... He looks a little bit like the turkey from Turkey Where's Television. Where's that whistle, then? Look, it's just a little accident. Sorry. An accident? My whistle? He just sort of fell off the world. Anyway, I got your parrot back. But my whistle! My handcrafted Oblander parrot Carlin whistle! My mother gave that to me! Oh, how can I concentrate now that I know the last keepsake of my old dead mother has gone from the world? Right, right, I'll, I'll go fetch the whistle then, shall I? My Polly, my beautiful Polly, and my lovely whistle. Oh, how can I repay you? Just tell me how to get a tattoo. Go to the barber shop, of course. Mary, I picked up this book earlier. It was in the barber shop. No. I need to go talk to the milkmaid. I don't know why I need to talk to the milkmaid, but I know I just need to talk to her because that's what the instructions here say. Bye bye, sweetie doll. Hey, so good to see you. Oh, now. No, no, I can't seem to do that. No, no. Ah. Oh. In... this place for a little bit. Town, maybe that'll reset her. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe I can still talk to her. Bye, bye. I'm going to be a star, you know. Sorry? I'm auditioning. It's for the star role in the new clicky Trolls Prefer Blondes. It's terribly modern. Why has your bust line gotten bigger? Silicone implants, I think they're called. Silicone? Yes. Some cone-shaped bits chipped off that insane troll beside me. I stuffed them down my front. My agent thought it would be a good idea. You're keeping abreast of the competition, so to speak. So, how did you get an audition? Just stay in line like me. It's ever so much fun. I'm terribly excited about this casting couch idea. Really? Oh, yes. Because I love fishing. I think I need a good lie down. Oh, do you want to go on the couch as well? Uh, not if I can possibly avoid it, no. Oh, so would you like my autograph? You what? Well, it's like a name on a bit of paper. My agent Otto thought it up. See? Otto Graf. He says it'll be worth a lot of money one day. Really? Oh, yes. Especially if you use expensive paper. If you bring me something to write on, I can give one to you. That's very considerate of you. Okay, now I can do this. Next? Next? Ah, uh, come in. So, you want to play a hero, yeah? Uh, 
hero? Well, this is to be a hero's wall. Just say your lines and we'll see if we can't get you a screen test. Lines? For all heroes shout something as they attack. It's traditional. Just say whatever comes into your head. Um, hasta la vista, baby? No, 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 no. Here, try this. But this just says, Arg. Hey, that's what all dragon slayers say. Really? Just before they fry to a crisp. Come back when you practiced. Now off you go. Let me hear your dragon slaying voice. Hola! Work on it. Okay, now I go back outside. Ugh. I think you've been playing this for about two over two hours. This is a pretty long game. Sounds a lot nicer now than it did when I first started recording this. And I made sure that I make, get more use out of that frog sprite. Right, here you are then. The milkmaid is all set to be your next appointment. Oh, that's marvelous. I'll be seeing you. Here's all those buggy sounds. I need to be down here. You serve as the local tattoo artist, correct? Oh, yes. I'm the best on the disc. All the heroes come to me. <laughs> Blindingly painful mutilations to the discerning gentry. That's me, sir. Here, take a seat and I'll do you now. Now, what style of tattoo are you interested in? And more importantly, what part of your body are we talking about here? <laughs> Those needles, they look... Pretty pointy. Razor sharp. It's so they can plunge efficiently beneath the flesh, you see. Hmm. Oh, yes. Stabbing into the living tissue, hooking through the skin and spurting ink. Each tattoo needs that to be done thousands of times. Oh, does it hurt? Oh, yes. The pain is quite intense. I've seen grown men turn into whimpering, creeping wrecks by just five minutes under my needles. Anyway. You're a pal, so I'll do one for you right now if you insist. You'll just have to bear with me. I'm too excited to work well. Me hands are shaking. Oh, I really hope I don't stab the needles in too deep and then break them off. Ah, uh -huh, yes. Look, um, I think I'll pass for now. Well, in that case, why don't you try one of those newfangled transfer thingamy tattoos? They're made from a special clutchy and squid dye that adheres to your skin for a day or so. Sounds great. Where can I get one? Try my son. He gives them away with bubblegum. Your son? Yes, the little street starfish. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, thanks for that. I'll be off now. Uh, about 24, 5 minutes into this. So I'll just get this set up for now. I gotta go to the bathroom again. I think it's a pretty good spot to stop. Hello, little friend. Lovely bubblegum you have there. Oh, come on, governor. What? Well, obviously you're trying to swindle me out of something. Next thing, you'll be trying to trick me into performing some sort of stupid stunt as a diversion. Such as? 
I suppose you were going to get me to blow an incredibly huge bubble and then run off with the goods. Never. I don't think you can blow bubbles much bigger than you have been anyway. Of course I can. Here, watch. Can I hold your bubblegum packet for you? Oh, thanks. This is empty. It comes with a transfer. You don't think I'm going to let you have my transfer? It's collectible. Well, how do you collect a transfer? I mean, you have to put it on your skin. It'll wash off. Wash, Gav? Oh, right. Sorry, I use bad language. Tell me again about the attractions of being a lovable street life stereotype. I'm class background colour, I am, sir. You're about to die. Just give me the damn transfer. <laughs> Come and get it, pencil head. I'll never touch the stuff again. About 28 minutes. I think about two more things to go and I'll be good for the, uh... Final bit! should be enough for right now. Gotta go to the bathroom again, and I probably finish up the game in the next round. 